Hey folks, um, I'm going to show in this video how to do identify a fake versus real Bosch 210 uh, fuel injector. These are really popular fuel injectors and there are a lot of fake ones out there on eBay. You see a lot of people selling them for 15 to 20 to 25 dollars a piece for a supposed genuine injector. Um, so I have an opportunity here to show what a real one looks like versus a fake one. Um, first things first, uh, the fake ones even come in a box that looks to be genuine. This is a genuine box. The easiest way to identify if it's real is you see the, uh, the code there. And if you actually check it out on Bosch's website, it'll tell you it's genuine. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that uh, somehow along the line that someone could be faking um, the boxes, but in this case, uh, this is a legitimate box. Um, for the fake injector, I don't have the original box that it came in, but it looked just like it. So first things to notice, um, this is the real one on the right. And the easiest way to quickly identify that if you're pulling out of the box is the injector tip covers for the inlet and outlet uh, are larger and longer on the, uh, on the real one. You can see the difference there in length, right? Um, the fake one uses a much shorter one. So that's the first thing to identify. The next thing to identify, if I can get it to stand here, actually I'll turn it around and show you. Excuse me, I'm fumbling here. Actually what I'll do is I'll just remove the cover. Okay, so what you'll notice is on the left one, which is the fake, and the right one that's real, you notice that right where my finger is touching right here, this, this whole area is smooth um, right here. It's all smooth. And on the fake one, you can see a casting bump right there in the middle. I'll point it out. It's right there. That's fake. It's a casting flaw. It's cheap, it's cheap molding from whoever's making it, probably in China. The other thing to notice is you see the, the lettering right there on the sides? So on the real one, the lettering is very clear and very um, precise. And this one, this one's not bad. Some of the other ones I've seen are completely faded. Uh, another way to look to see if it's fake is you see the uh, the little uh, part number skew with the 3D uh, barcode. On the on the fake ones, if you get rubbing alcohol or acetone or, or lacquer thinner and you rub at it and it starts to clear away, that's a, a sure way to tell it's fake. Um, on the real ones they're permanently laser etched into the metal casing there. And lastly, well not lastly actually, there's two more things to look at. So if you look inside on the EV connector, and this is EV1s, I don't know if it's the same thing for uh, any other type of EV connector, but the lighting's not the best, but there you go. So on the real ones, that's a good view right there. It's smooth on the inside with no lettering or numbering. On the fake ones, um, you will see, look at the lighting just right, there's a number imprinted inside of there. Again, it's a casting number from the, uh, the molding that they did. Uh, so this one, I know it's hard to see in the, in the poor lighting. Uh, this one says like 509 or something like that. Um, you can also see next to the prongs that the molding is poorly done to where the, the plastic is actually um, like loosely hanging around the bottom or base of the prong. So it's just an inferior product. And the last thing to, to point out is the actual O-rings used. Um, in most cases, genuine Bosch injectors have a purple O-ring on the bottom and yellow on the top. This one has a yellow on top. It's a different shade. I'm not gonna be too worried about the shade differences. That just might be how it is. But the bottom on this one is, is brown. Um, I'm not necessarily sure if that's just, you know, what they use during the assembly line, but I happen to have a set of new, um, uh, an old genuine Bosch 210s and the old ones even still have purple, not uh, brown. So I think the brown is an indicator of it not being a genuine, not for sure on that one. But the also the other thing to note is the um, O-ring quality on the fakes are just junk. So that was uh, inserting the O-ring into my injector cleaner and it tore the, the O-ring pretty easily. I use Vaseline when I assemble O-rings or the injectors into the um, into my any O-ring uh, fuel rail, whether it's a tester or actual vehicle application. So um, anyway, I hope that helps people out and to uh, steer clear 
of any uh, posing, genuine or whatever uh, Bosch 210 um, seller. So be careful as you buy them. The price point should be around $60 for a genuine, um, but you should probably just consider buying from an authorized dealer that has a reputable uh, status online or, or even retail stores. So anyway, um, hope you enjoy. I'll take some pictures to clearly define these. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions. Thanks.